Welcome back to another episode of the Casey Campbell podcast. Casey Campbell with you, of course. Please be joined once again by Stefan Parsons, driver of the number 99 SoCal Chevrolet for BJ McLeod Motorsports and the NASCAR Xfinity Series. How's it going, bud? Good, man. Thanks for having me. Um, so how do you think the season's been going for you guys? I know uh, it didn't start off well with missing Daytona, but um, overall, how do you think you guys are doing after four races? Yeah, you know, it's been a rough start to the year, obviously. Uh, missing Daytona, like you said, and then getting wrecked the first two races at, at Fontana and in, in, in Vegas certainly um, certainly was a bummer. But um, thankfully, at, at Phoenix, we kind of got to turn around, had a solid finish. But, you know, the good thing is, is uh, we've had speed every race. You know, Fontana, we were running, I think, 14th or 15th when we wrecked. And Vegas, we were looking looking at a solid top 20. Phoenix, you know, we were around 20th. So um, for start of the year, I'm pretty happy with where we're at on speed. Um, and I know uh, I know that we're just going to get better and just going to improve. So definitely excited to see what the next uh, next several several weeks hold. Yeah, for sure. Um, overall, what has it been like getting adjusted to running every single week now? Um. You know, it hasn't hasn't been too much of an adjustment. You know, I've I've been fortunate enough to uh, <clears throat> to travel um, close to full time uh, before, so um, it hasn't been too much of an adjustment. Um, I I stayed out from Fontana to all the way to Phoenix, so um, it's nice to be home again. You know, I've not after not being home for three weeks, but. Uh, then, then I leave for Atlanta tomorrow morning. So uh, I enjoy it. I love it. Um, and I'm very, very thankful for the uh, opportunity. Speaking of Atlanta, do you know what to expect? Have you talked to anybody? Have you talked to drivers and say, what are we going to, what do you know what to expect here? No, I really don't think anybody does. Um, I don't think anybody really knows to expect, you know, it's gonna, it has, the appearances that it's going to be like a restrictor plate race, but it's also it's also a mile and a half track, and we're also taking our intermediate aero package. So it's it's hard to say. I really don't think anybody knows what to expect. I think I personally think it's going to be very similar to uh, when we used to do the drag duck package, at like ND in Michigan. I think it's going to be very similar to that, um, but I really don't know. It's, it's, it is a big unknown. And I don't think, uh, I don't think anybody's going to know what to expect until we, uh, we get in the race on Saturday. What has it been like? <laughs> what's it been like working with Josh? And of course, I know you've worked with Matt last year. Um, but overall, what's it been like working with those guys? And plus, you got to work with Nick last week. Yeah, it's been great. You know, Josh is definitely a great asset to our team just with the amount of experience he has. So, it's been great to work with Josh and then get to work with, uh, with Nick last week at Phoenix, who has zero Xfinity starts. So, uh, it's been, it's been awesome to see, um, kind of the, the balance between the two and, and then working with Matt as well, who has, uh, a lot of Xfinity starts and a lot of experience to his name. So I think we're all getting our, uh, getting our bearings about us and kind of figuring stuff out. You know, I've had a, it's it, honestly, it's been, Great to work with, uh, with Mike Tisco, our new crew chief. Uh, he's been awesome. Like I said, we've had great speed everywhere we've gone. Just kind of had some bad luck. So uh, we're definitely wanting to turn turn that luck around. Yeah. Got some tracks coming up that you may have not been to. You haven't raced that in a while or you've never been to. Uh, you got Coda coming up next week. Um, what you got, you got a bunch of road courses coming up. I know you haven't raced on a lot of them. But overall, how excited are you for that coming up? Yeah, I'm definitely excited. You know, I, I was fortunate enough to go to go to the Spring Mountain School that Ron Fellows has out in Vegas while I was out there and learn a little bit and, and spend half a day there. So that was super helpful and and uh, getting to do some some simulator stuff for for Coda. So uh, I'm looking forward to Coda. Yeah, I, I think uh, I think we have a good opportunity to run well. Um, I think. I think our, our, our equipment has run well on road course courses before with Andy Lally. So 
I think the opportunity is certainly there, and I'm I'm looking forward to uh, to to getting to do it. You know. Yeah, um, I know that road course is or you it's extra work. I know you filled in as a spotter. Are you going to be doing that again this year? Yeah. So Coda, I'm actually uh, going to be a uh, an extra spotter for uh, Front Row and Michael McDowell. So uh, pretty cool to be able to do uh, double duty again. Yeah, so so obviously I know you do that for a lot of the road courses that you're available for. So um, what's that been like being a spotter again? Well, it's been great. Um, I enjoy it. Uh, I enjoy it in, in moderation, um, but it's it's cool to go up there. And um, I've been, been, it's been cool to become friends with all spotters up there and, and uh, just have a different perspective. Um, I think it really... I think it really is beneficial as a driver to be able to kind of wear a bunch of hats and, and be able to do those sort of things and, and kind of diversify. So um, I, I really enjoy it. It's been pretty cool. And I've been fortunate enough that people have, uh, people think I do a good enough job to have me keep doing it. So Yeah. Uh, are you, are you keeping the mower? For now, I have a plan. I have a plan. I can't can't release the plan yet, but for now, I'm keeping it. I have, I have, it's all part of the plan. It's all part of the plan. All feeling, part of the plan. I have a feeling something. Uh, well, I, I have a feeling we'll, we might know more about this when Starlington rolls around. <laughs> um, yeah. We'll see. Yeah, we'll have to see. Uh, also, going to be a big year for you. Well, kind of. Uh, you're going to be an uncle later this year. Yeah, yeah, so... That's cool. Cammy and Sheldon are, uh, are expecting a baby here in the summer and, and got married. So uh, got a new brother-in-law. Obviously, we ran it. We uh, had a little run in in Fontana. <laughs> but, uh, it's part of racing. You know, we talked about it and, and uh, it's all good. But yeah, no, I'm excited, uh, excited to be an uncle and excited for them to, to welcome a welcome a new child into the world. Yeah. Yeah, I bet that conversation was fun. Oh yeah, always. Yeah, it's. Uh, I mean, I mean, it's like uh, now. I mean, you're you guys are technically family now. So. Yeah. Always interesting. All right, Stephen Parsons, thank you so much for coming on and talking with us. Good luck this weekend in Atlanta. Thank you.